Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Maggie. Today we're going to learn English with Taylor Swift's speech at the AMAs. I was watching the AMAs yesterday, and when she accepted the Best Artist of the Decade award, I just thought her speech was really great. Not just that her English is great, because why wouldn't her English be great? But I like the way she showed her appreciation to her peers. She gave a great compliment to her a presenter, and she wrapped it up really logically. Like she tied everything down to what she thought was important to her career. That is why I think this speech is such a great example, and I just cannot wait to share with you guys. And hopefully, you guys like this video. Subscribe to this channel and follow me on social media. And and now, let's get into the video. So for me, I separated this speech into three parts. And as usual, we're not just going to look at those sentences that she said. We are going to take what we can learn and what we can apply into our everyday situations. First, she said, you guys, first of all, I want to say that getting to share the stage with Misty Copeland and Crick Hall and Camila Cabello and Halsey and all those amazing dancers tonight was absolutely, in so many ways, a dream come true. That performance was even more fun than I hope it would be. I think these two words are very, very good. She actually wanted to thank these two and give them to dance and dance with them. Although she didn't have a single one, thank you, this one word. But she showed her gratitude, I think it was really good. She used this word. Getting to share the stage. Getting to share the stage with all these amazing people was absolutely in so many ways, a dream come true. 我觉得大家一定要把这一个句型记下来。Getting to do something was a dream come true. 这句话呢非常非常好。如果在生活当中你有了一次很难得的机会，然后呢你想要对某人表示。感谢之情，这句话呢就可以用。比如说呢，你的老板给了你一次很难得的去某个城市出差的机会，就可以啊。比如说 ，Hey Amy, I just wanted to thank you for giving me this opportunity to uh go to Washington or to go on this work trip. Getting to represent our company and meet all these amazing people was a dream come true. Was absolutely a dream come true. 如果你这样子跟你老板说呢，我觉得你老老板肯定会非常非常的开心。Getting to represent our company and meet all these amazing people was absolutely a dream come true. 然后下一句呢，我觉得也挺好的。That performance was even more fun than I hoped it would be. 比如说你去了一段旅行，去了哪里，然后那个地方呢，比你想象中还好，就可以用这句话。所以我觉得这句话生活当中也挺常用的。Hey Amy, I heard you went to Japan last week. How was it? Oh my God, it was even more fun than I hoped it would be. It was even more fun than I hoped it would be. 下一段呢有一点长，因为它是讲了一个故事。我觉得这一个我们可以跟 Taylor Swift 学一学，因为它这里面呢不是英语好的等级了，它这里面是会做人。我感觉，因为你可以看到这个 Carol King 在听了听完他这一段赞美以后，马上那种。哦、oh, ，那种 flatter 的心情，或者是那种马上就很喜欢这个小姑娘那种心情就出来了。所以我觉得这个就是属于会说话的等级。我们也可以看一下。Um, I cannot believe that it's Carol King. It's you who gave me this award. My parents are here tonight, and they will listen to Tapestry and all your other records in high school. And then they took those records with them, packed them up in boxes, and took them to college with them. And then when they met. Uh, and they got their own house. They took those records with them there. Then, when they had my brother and I, they played those records for us. I just remember when I fell in love with music. It was right around the time that I realized that how marvelous it was that an artist could transcend so many different phases and changes in people's lives. So you taught me. That's a possibility. 我觉得这一句呢，就是说到他这种等级很难学，因为他这里面呢，想说的中心思想是这一个音乐家，他的音乐能够。超越人的生活当中很多不同的阶段，然后你教会了我音乐还有这样大的力量，这样大的魔力。如果有人给你一个很好的例子，然后你原来觉得这件事情是不可能完成的，但是这个人以他的人生经历或者是怎么样告诉你这是可能的。
，这是一个可能性，你就可以说 I used to think it's impossible to do something. I used to think it's impossible to make it in the U.S. as an immigrant, but you taught me that's a possibility. I don't know. Just in real life situations, apply to your own specific situation. 但是我觉得这句话呢也是非常好。然后这里面呢还有这么一个词 ，transcend。然后生活当中常用 transcend 的一个地方是 love transcends。All gender, race, and、um, language, maybe. 也就是说，爱是超越种族、语言什么的界限的。然后这句话呢，挺常用的。Love transcends gender, race, and language, etc. Or maybe love transcends all. 呃、uh, ，爱超越一切。然后大家呢，也可以记一下。最后一个呢，我们再看一下。I guess what I'm trying to say is that. All any of the artists or really anyone in this room want is to create something that will last, whatever it is in life. The fact that this is an award that celebrates a decade of hard work and of art and of fun and of memories, all that matters to me is the memories that I've had with you guys, with you, the fans over the years. 大家就可以看到他用的每个词都非常简单，你也都会。然后，但是。Putting them together, 把这些词放到一起，又能表达自己的这种意见。我觉得这个呢是比较难的，所以在生活当中一定要注意人家是怎么用这些小词的。我自己觉得小词很很重要，尤其是小的动词，它有很多不同的搭配。所以我觉得，嗯，在生活当中你一定要注意。比如说这一句 ，Everyone in this room， 我就 rephrase， 我就是呃，就是在它的基础上用自己的话说一下。Everyone in this room just wants to create something that will last. 我觉得可以记住的就是 something that will last， 也就是可以长久的东西。下次你想说可以长久的东西，你就不用说特别特别难的词，你就可以用这几个词来代替 something that will last. Um, when you create a brand. Uh, when you are trying to find your brand identity, you want to create something that will last. Something that will last. 最后一句呢，我觉得也是非常好。然后呢，我们听一下。Guys, we've had fun, incredible, exhilarating times together, and may it continue. Ah,、uh, thank you for being the reason why I am on this stage from the very first day of my career until tonight. I love you with all my heart. Thank you for everything. Fun, incredible, exhilarating times together. 这三个词呢，我觉得就记住好了，一起记，就是一个比另一个高级的。Fun, we had so much fun together. Thank you for being my best friend. We've had fun together, or we've had an incredible run. 哎，这个也可以，就是用 incredible run， 也就是我们的时间在一起的时间，非常非常的美好。有的时候这个经常是和 but 一起用的。We've had an incredible run, but it's time to bring this to an end. 有的时候企业要倒闭了，经常用这句话，也就是我们我们过去这段时间非常美妙，我们公司非常好，但是现在很不幸的我们要停止了。We've had an incredible run, but it's time to bring this to an end. 那后面 exhilarating 就是更加好的，就是比美妙还美妙，超级好的 exhilarating time. For example, you just went on a roller coaster ride, and it was exhilarating. 这个呢就可以用，有的时候坐完过山车那种感觉就是 exhilarating. That was a Exhilarating. 下一个不是马上要过新年了吗？或者是圣诞节的时候，如果是有敬酒词、祝酒词 ，toast. When you're making a toast, it's really good. May it continue. We've had an exhilarating year. May it continue. 这个如果是公司的酒会，你如果想敬酒的话，就可以 Guys, we've had an exhilarating year together, and may it continue. Right, that is wonderful. Actually, you can use it in your Thanksgiving party coming up this Thursday, or maybe oh, you're not gonna work on Thursday, but Christmas party. We've had an exhilarating year. 
and may it continue. 下一个 thank you for being the reason why I am on the stage. 这句呢，在写贺卡的时候可以用，你可以把它改一改。For example, you can tell your spouse, your boyfriend, your significant other, thank you for being the reason why I wake up with a smile on my face every morning. Oh my God, I just did this. Yes, I did. Thank you for being the reason why I wake up with a smile on my face every morning. 也就是说，谢谢你让我每天早上醒来都有都笑容满面，是因为你在我旁边。所以我觉得这句这句写在你的贺卡上，如果对方生日，把这句写上，你肯定。超受欢迎 Thank you for being the reason why I wake up with a smile on my face every morning. 好，这些呢就是我给大家总结的，他这一个演讲里面的所有我们能学到的东西。当然，可能还有其他你可能自己。有学到的东西，也欢迎在底下跟我们大家分享。然后呢，我就觉得他这一个演讲其实真的是很好，不知道你们怎么想，也欢迎在底下评论你们的感想。然后感谢大家的观看，如果你有其他想听的演讲啊，或者是哪个小。一段一段话这种，然后呢，也欢迎在底下评论。我们将来可以多做一些这样的，因为我觉得这种在实际生活当中别人用过的句子，然后我们再拿来结合自己的生活，就特别特别好用。然后也非常感谢你的观看，我们下期再见，拜。